Welcome to another insightful video where we delve into the crux of current economic affairs. Today, we dissect the economic landscape in 2023. The year is marked by significant shifts in global dynamics. One of the most striking developments is the impact of the Ukraine crisis on U.S. defense spending. The urgency of the situation led Congress to pass a nearly 6% increase in defense spending, a shift that could have far-reaching implications for the economy. Meanwhile, Moody's, the internationally renowned credit rating agency, predicts an increase in environmental, social, and credit risks arising from the economic and political turbulence. The cost of living crisis, triggered by high food and power prices due to supply issues related to the Ukraine war, is expected to raise credit risks across various sectors. Furthermore, we see the cost of living crisis manifesting in wage issues. As living costs skyrocket, there are growing calls for companies to pay a real living wage. The tension between supporting vulnerable households and restoring fiscal positions is poised to be a defining feature of the economic landscape this year. Staying informed about such critical matters is our collective responsibility, so make sure to hit the subscribe button for more updates. The geopolitical tensions surrounding the Ukraine crisis have triggered an unexpected ripple effect on U.S. defense spending. It's a bit like a domino effect, but instead of falling tiles, we're talking about billions of dollars. Congress recently passed a nearly 6% increase in defense spending. It's not a small number and it's not an isolated incident. They're expecting further increases. All eyes are on the horizon, watching for the next move in this global chess game. But why this sudden increase? It's a shift in the threat landscape. We're not just talking about non-state terrorist organizations anymore. The primary threats have now shifted towards nation states like Russia and China. It's a new game board with new players and new rules. This shift requires a significant investment. We're talking heavy artillery, advanced technology, heightened security measures, and a larger military presence. It's no small change and it's one that's reflected in the budget. The total U.S. national defense budget for 2023 is projected to exceed $800 billion. That's a staggering number, and it's one that carries significant implications. But what does this mean for us? It means a reshuffling of priorities. It means a reevaluation of our spending. It means a reconsideration of our strategies. It's a high-stakes game of chess with economic implications. As the world's political landscape shifts, so does the budgeting strategy of superpowers. It's a high-stakes game of chess with economic implications. Moody's recent predictions indicate an unsettling trend for 2023. As we navigate the tumultuous waters of the global economy, we find ourselves grappling with a trifecta of challenges, environmental, social, and credit risks. Each of these, in its own right, is a formidable adversary. But when they converge, the stakes are amplified immensely. The aftershocks of the COVID-19 pandemic continue to reverberate, reshaping economies and societies. Meanwhile, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has added fuel to the fire, causing economic and political turbulence on a global scale. The ripple effects of these events are far-reaching, with consequences that extend well beyond their immediate impact. In the midst of this chaos, a cost-of-living crisis is emerging. High food and power prices, spurred by supply issues tied to the Ukraine war, are elevating credit risks across a multitude of sectors. Policymakers are caught in a precarious balancing act, striving to support vulnerable households while simultaneously aiming to restore fiscal positions. This is no easy task, and the path forward is fraught with uncertainty. On the environmental front, the spotlight is on companies and their emission reduction efforts. Stakeholder expectations are high, and those that fall short may find themselves facing policy and market risks. The pressure is on for businesses to demonstrate their commitment to sustainable practices, and the stakes have never been higher. And then there's the social dimension. The prospect of worker wage demands could lead to operational disruptions, while consumer-facing industries might grapple with slower spending and high input costs. Lower rated issuers, particularly those rated B3 and below, are staring down the barrel of increased refinancing risks. The intersection of environmental, social, and credit risks presents a complex puzzle for policymakers and businesses alike. As we move forward into an uncertain future, the need for informed strategic decision-making has never been more critical. It's a challenging landscape, but with challenge comes opportunity, the opportunity to innovate, adapt, and ultimately to thrive. In the midst of the economic turmoil, the issue of wages and the cost of living has taken center stage. Let's look at the recent resolution at Sainsbury's annual meeting, a proposal committed to paying the real living wage to all workers by July, 2023. This resolution, while specific to one company, has broad implications. 
It represents a growing recognition that wages have not kept pace with the rising cost of living, pushing many hardworking individuals into financial difficulty. The cost of living crisis is not just about wages, it's about the increasing cost of essentials like food and power, driven by supply issues related to geopolitical tensions and the ongoing pandemic. These rising costs are putting pressure on workers' wages and in turn affecting consumer spending. It's a domino effect. When workers struggle to make ends meet, they have less disposable income, which affects the broader economy. If businesses respond to this crisis by increasing wages, they could face higher operating costs, potentially leading to price increases for consumers and further exacerbating the cost of living crisis. As the cost of living continues to escalate, the balance between wage growth and affordability becomes a critical issue.